There's not much room for a party on board drum, but now the party season's in full swing, it's time for those sing-songs. Have you ever wanted to have the voice that stops a party in full swing? Well, now a firm in Bournemouth has devised a way of making anyone sound like a pop star. In fact, they allow you to do the singing to your favourite record instead of your favourite pop star. Our number one party-goer, Andy Webb, drove down to Bournemouth to find out a bit more. Who can claim that they've never made embarrassing noises like these from time to time in the car or where the acoustics are best of all, the bathroom? The main problem is competing with the vocals already there. Mick Jaggers, in this case, a firm at Boscombe in Bournemouth, can solve all that. Well, Claudette, we had a request this morning for a recording of a backing track of Arthur's theme. Can we just try it through for feel? One, two, three, four. <laughs> Tony Davidson and his partner Claudette Evans, both skilled musicians and producers, will arrange and record any song in any key, with everything except a voice. They've already built up a large selection of old favourites, which they sell as cassettes to be taken away and sung to in the privacy of your own home. But people do come into the studios to be sort of measured up. Between the moon and New York City People like Alan Woodrow, manager of a local hamburger bar, who admits he'd far rather be a pop star. And indeed, with the benefit of the backing track, it does sound much better. Once in your life you find her Someone who turns your heart around Next thing you know you're closing down the town We get requests for Everything from anything out of the top 20, uh, I Will Survive, Dancing in the Street, uh, going back to the more ballady things, um, Frank Sinatra's My Way, even back further to You Made Me Love You, and even back to the old musical days. Uh, you've heard some of these singers when they come in. Quite honestly, what's your opinion of them? Some of them are very good. There is the occasional one that are, uh, to be polite, slightly tone deaf but they, as they're tone deaf, they think that they can sing. They enjoy it nonetheless. But they enjoy it. It costs 20 pounds to have a backing track specially prepared, so Alan must be keen. Wouldn't it be simpler to just sing along with the disc? No, you? it's not the same. This, this is arranged for me to, to suit my key, whatever, you know. No, it's much easier having it this way than just trying to sing along to a record like Christopher Cross sings it and it's so high. There's no way I can get up there. <laughs> Where do you do your singing then? Everywhere. In the car. Um, I go into the new forest. You know, anywhere, anywhere. <laughs> well, you pop the little tape into your That's right. portable... Just walk into the forest and sing along. <laughs> You're a star really, aren't you? I wouldn't say so. No. <laughs> I have some embarrassing moments at traffic lights when I'm singing along. I pull up and I notice a car in front sort of going... What the hell is he doing? <laughs> it clearly doesn't matter, so long as it makes him happy. At least you'll know who it is next time you hear this at the traffic lights. The best that you can do The best that you can do Is fall in love Studio 95 Shaping tomorrow's music today